That was German for hello everybody, this is Freud, so Bob here, and welcome back to Train Simulator 3, where today we'll be taking a look at some German stuff, yeah, well, not just some German stuff, but actually most of the German stuff here in Train Simulator 3, yeah, welcome to, I guess, the end of the year German special, where in this video, we are going to be taking a look at all of the content that you get in all six of the German routes that have been released for Train Simulator 3. Um, and then, well, we'll also be doing some driving today. We're going to be driving on the PT Eiffel route. Um, and, of course, taking a look at everything that you get. Uh, we're, well, of course, we're going to be taking a look at everything at once. Um, this is all you get here in the six German routes. So we're going to take a look at this first. Then we'll do some driving on the PT Eiffel route. And, uh, yep, alright, that's the plan for the video, so let's get to it. But before we do that, be sure to check out my Fiverr gig. Link is in the description. Alright, so as I mentioned, there are six routes that have been released thus far for Train Simulator Well, six German routes that have been released thus far for Train Simulator 3. Um, those routes being the PT Alpine Lake 1, 2, and 3, as well as the PT Eiffel route, the Brocken Railway, and the Pigtail Line. Uh, those are all six of the German routes that have been released uh, thus far here in Train Simulator 3. Well, I say that there is a, uh, a seventh German route that's currently in development and might even already be out by the time this video is made. Um, however, uh, that's a newer route, so I'll be taking a look at that one. I'll be taking a look at that one at a later date. Um, now, with that being said, all, like I said, all the content that you see here in this video, as for some reason there's a green bar appearing up over that diesel locomotive for some reason, um, everything that you're seeing here is included in the aforementioned six German routes, which again is BTL, but like one, two, three, the Eiffel route, Brocken Railway, and Pigtail Line. So uh, that's a combined price value of $30 uh, to get all six of those routes. However, of course, of course, well, yeah, of course, those are also routes included there, so you don't just get trains. These are all the trains that you get in the six routes. So then, let's take a look at everything you get in each of the routes. I'm going to be going through everything one by one here, and I will also list off which of the items they can get each of these items in. So, let's get to it. So first up here, we have, I guess, sort of the star of the show of these German add-ons. Uh, this is the, uh, this is the Class 644 Diesel Multiple Unit. Um, and this locomotive, or this locomotive, this, well, it's not really locomotive, this train is available in the PT Alpine Lake 1, 2, and 3 routes, as well as the PT Eiffel route. Um, so, you get, if, so if you get one of those four add-ons, you'll get this train. And, uh, it's a pretty good looking train, actually. Not the best, but not the worst, either. Yeah. So there's the, uh, first carriage. And I'll look at the middle coach. Yeah. Yeah, look at all the details on this one. And just for funsies, let's take a look at the rear unit. Yeah. Regio. Alright, let's take a look at the interior cab. And here you are. Interior cab of the 644. Diesel multiple unit. Um... The cab is a bit messy in some places, like the windows don't really look that good, like, it, like, like it's just totally clear, there's no, you know, glazing, I guess. But at least the cab controls look pretty good. And let's see if there's a passive view in the middle coach. Um, no, I said the middle coach. And there is no, no passive view in the middle coach, unfortunately. Alright. Well, then let's blow the horn. Yeah, well, hang on. Yeah, not the best horn in the world. Yeah, pretty crude horn here on the 644. It is a multiple unit, but there you go. Um, yeah, the 644 here in Trains Simulator 3. Alright, up next we're going to take a look at some freight stuff. Yeah. Um, so this here... Uh, to start it off here, we have the uh, BR-218 diesel locomotive, uh, which is available in all three of the PT Alpine Lake routes, as well as the PT Eiffel route. So the detail on this one is pretty good, actually. Yeah, 
be good indeed. It's your cab. Mm, cab is a bit more on the dated side, but still looks all right. Yeah. Look at that. And of course, horn time. Yeah, no bell. Um, but yeah, this thing does have a better sounding horn than the uh, 644. Uh. So let's take a look at all the uh, all the freight cars. This is base. Yeah, this is basically all you get in terms of freight uh, here in these German islands. Uh, the first of these is the Transwagon Lass, which is uh, this thing, which is available in the PT Alpen Lake two and three routes. Uh, this is the uh, empty version. There you go. And up next, you have the uh, trans wagon last, but this time this one's carrying logs, uh, which once again is available in the PT Alpine Lake 2 and 3 routes. There you go. All right. Up next, we have some Harper cars. Specifically, these are the uh, Nako. Enos, Enos wagons. I'm not too sure. Um, and first up here, we have the regular version, which is available in the PT Alpine Lake 1, 2, and 3 routes, plus the PT Eiffel route. So that's thing, this thing. Yeah. Which is basically a, a hopper car. Up next, we have the uh, Nako Enos uh, wagon carrying coal. Uh, this variant is available in all three of the PT Alpine Lake routes, however, not the Eiffel route for some reason. But yeah, here's a version of the Nako Enos car carrying coal. Up next, uh, we have the Nako Enos timber version. Uh, which is only available in the PT Alpine Lake 1 route. So it's basically the same wagon once again, but this time carrying logs. And finally, you have the uh, Nako Enos wood chips version, which is only available in the PT Alpine Lake 2 route. And bring up the rear, we have a couple more wagons. Uh, this one here is the H Bills Dash X, which is available in the PT Alpine Lake 1 and 3 routes. Pretty interesting looking wagon here. And finally, uh, we have the H Biz. Dash TT, which is available in PT Alpine Lake 2, 3, as well as the Eiffel route. Alright, so there is all of the freight wagons that you have here in, well, all the German freight wagons here in Train Simulator 3. Up next, we have a couple of steamers here. Uh, first we're gonna look at is this guy here, which is the uh, which is the BR44 steam locomotive tender engine. Yeah, which is available in the PT Alpine Lake One route as well as the PT Eiffel route. So here's the engine itself. Take a look at the interior. Interior is pretty basic in this one, but hmm. seriously, nonetheless. And whistle.
Pretty good whistle on this thing, Axe. I'm impressed. And here's the tender. And there it is, the uh, the BR44 steam engine. And up next, we have a couple of coaches. Uh, first up here, we have the AGAM203, which is available in the PTI Play Like One route. There you go. I believe this is the uh, first class coach. Which looks pretty nice. Uh, does it have an interior view? No, it doesn't. All right. Well, there you go then. The uh, AGAM203. And up next, we have the second class coach, which is the BM235 Bundesbahn, which is also exclusively available in the PTI Play Like One route. Nice wagon. Or, well, not really wagon. This one's a coach. Does it have a passive view, though? No, it doesn't. All right. Well, there you go. Then a couple of coaches, which are exclusive to the PT Alpha Lake 1 route. And next, we have another steam engine. Uh, this time, it's... Well, I would say this is a tank engine, although it's a pretty big tank engine here. Uh, this is the BR-85 steam engine, which is only included in the PT Alpha Lake 2 route. So, yeah. Deutsche Bundesbahn, huh? There you go. All right, cab view. Once the cab view is pretty basic, but looks interesting nonetheless. And because it's a tender engine, there's the uh, what the coal bunker looks like. All right, so let's blow the whistle. Much higher pitch than the uh, BR-44, but I guess it is a tank engine after all, so there you go. And right behind it is the Burns Sibling, or the BNRZ Sibling Coach, uh, which is available in the P-Tapalik 2 and 3 routes. So this, is a, this is a pretty old-style coach here, but there you go. Interior view, which it doesn't have one, but yeah. Okay, well, there you go. The Burns Sibling Coach. Alrighty then, let's move on uh, to um, this guy here. Um, so up next, we have another variant of the uh, BR-218. Um, this here is the br 218xxx x ts twenty ten. Not sure why it's a mouthful. It's basically the uh, BR-218, but in a different livery, which I believe is the beige and the blue livery, which actually looks pretty nice on this thing. Um, and this engine is available in the Pizza Burn Lake 1, 2, and 3 routes, as well as the Eiffel route. Uh, so basically the same list of routes as the red version of the BR-218. Cap interior and interior is basically the exact same as the other 218, so we're nothing to see here. And now it's below the horn. There you go, same horn as before. Alright, up next we have the Deutsche Bahn Auxiliary Train. Um, so yeah, so now we're actually looking at a set of coaches that are, I guess, part of the uh, Auxiliary Train. And all of this is exclusively available in the PT Alpine Lake 3 route. Uh, so first up, we have the Auxiliary Train Crew Car. Yep. Crew Car, indeed. Interior. It does actually have an interior, although it's right here at the end of the coach, which is a little bit weird. But, okay. Up next, we have the Tools Car. Which actually looks pretty nice. Yeah, they did a pretty good job with the auxiliary train cars. Does it have an interior? Uh, I'm... Oh, maybe it does, but it's all rubbish. Alright. And finally, we have the generator car. Hmm, 
again for uh, mulling this one is pretty good. And uh, once again, uh, okay, interview does this, but whatever. Well, there's the uh, PT or yeah, the Pro Train. Well, it's made by Pro Train, but it's the George Bond Auxiliary Train, which is available in the PT Alpha Lake 3. I actually have some more stuff that is uh, exclusive to the uh, PT Alpha Lake 3 route. These are the uh, some more crew cars, which I'm not really sure why these are here, but yeah. Um, so this is uh, crew car number one, which is in green. Does it have interior? I think it does have interior, but it the this interior is actually in a different coach. So, yeah. So, um, okay. So that interior is actually in the red coach, I think. So yeah, no interior in the green coach. Up next, we have the uh, crew car number two, which is red. And I can assure you, this is this is a different coach from the uh, from the one using the auxiliary train. Not sure why they include these extra coaches in these different colors, but mm, I guess it's cool. Interior view, yeah, this one does have an interior view, which is this one. Actually, I think that's a, I think that's in the yellow coach, actually. I don't know. <laughs> well, one of this has an interior view, but the rest of these don't. And up next, we have uh, number three, which is a blue coach. And finally, we have crew car number four, which is yellow. I think this might be the only one that actually has the uh, passenger view. Yep, here it is. Alrighty. We got some extra crew cars to use, uh, all included with the P Tablet Lake 3 route. Alright then. Um. Up next here we have the TEE Rheingold train, uh, which are which are these coaches here. Um, yeah, the TEE Rheingold, which is uh, exclusively available in the PT Eiffel route. Um, yeah, now these coaches um, unfortunately don't come with the uh, the correct locomotive, or at least I think the correct locomotive, which is the uh, uh, DB one hundred three high speed electric locomotive. Uh, I said here in Train Simulator three, just pull this with the. Uh, BR forty four just over there, but mm, would have been nice to get the uh, the proper locomotive. But anyway, here is the compartment car here in the uh, TEE Rheingold train. Brand nice looking coach actually. Interior and nope, it doesn't look like we have an interior in any of these coaches. Okay. All right, well, up next, here we have the dining car. Spice Wagon. Uh. Yeah, this one does have a detailed interior, but you can't actually ride in it, which is a shame. All right. Oh, we can't do it this one, though. All right. Well, up next, we have the, uh, the dome car. Which again looks really nice. And this is gonna actually ride the dumb car on this coach. Look at that. Ooh, really nice interior actually. Look at that. Very cool interior in this one. This would be like a good passenger POV coach to ride in. And, um, yeah, ironically, this is included in the uh, PT Alpha route, which we're about to drive today. Um, and finally, we have the open carriage, which I'm not sure what's open about it, but there you go. And I guess another thing worth mentioning, uh, I believe these coaches are actually in the wrong order compared to what the correct concepts would be. Uh, but I just put them in ABC order, you know, in the order of how these were organized in the uh, trains listing, just to keep it straightforward. And once again, no pad view. Okay, so the only one that actually has a pad view is the dome car. All right, there we go. That is the TE Rheingold train or set of coaches, which is uh, available in the PT Eiffel route. All right, and finally, we have a couple of trains that are actually exclusive uh, to a couple of routes. So here, uh, yeah, we have two trains led by steam engines, which are 
only available actually in uh, in a certain add-on. Um, so this here is the BR99 steam locomotive, which is coupled to a few pink coaches. Um, and this set is only available in the PT Brocken Railway. So here's then the BR99 steam engine, which I just realized the the wheels are not lined up with the track. Whoopsies. Oh, I think I know why. That this is this is supposed to be on narrow gauge track. Oh. <laughs> okay, I just noticed that the wheels are actually not centered with the track. And I know why. It's because this this consist is actually only meant to run on a certain gauge of track, and I put these on standard gauge track. I actually thought that was a goof, but no, I think that's actually intentional, because I got, I got these on the wrong gauge of track. Alright, let's take a look at the interior then, of the Bear 99, which, again, is pretty basic, all things considered. Yep, there you are. And whistle. Oh, it does have a bell, which is interesting. Yeah, I think the other seat makes my bells too, but I forgot to activate the max. Let's check the uh, let's check the BR44 real quick. Mm, no, that one has no bell. And this one doesn't have a bell either. Oh, well, it does have a bell, but it's not really a bell. Alright, we're back to the uh, Brocken Railway stuff. And also including the Brocken Railway is a few coaches. Uh, first of all, we have the HSB Baggage Wagon. Yep. Which is all pink. Bit of a strange color, but... Oh, well. Ah. Let's go into the interior, and it doesn't seem to have one. Okay. Alright, next we have the HSB Passenger Wagon Short Version. And again, some interview on this one. All right, finally we have the HSB passenger wagon long version. Look at this. I actually like the way this coach looks. Even the paint scheme is, you know, I I, I don't know why, but I actually like it. And this one does have an interior view. Look at this. Very nice interior, actually. Alright, and there you go. Uh, so, yeah, so these three coaches, most look move, are exclusively available in the PT Brocken Railway. And finally, is these. Uh, this set of uh, rooms, like they see here, is exclusively available in the PT Pigtail line. Um, so this here uh, is the BR-50 tender engine, which does look very similar to the uh, BR-44, but I can assure you this one is different. Alright, interior, or cab interior, which again is, yeah, I seem to have a pretty basic cab interior in all these steam engines, but, oh well. And of course, whistle. Hmm, the horn. This one's or the horn. Oh, this was this one's pretty quiet. Yeah. Do a bell. We do. There you go. All right, and of course, tender. Of the BR fifty, nice. And up next we have some coaches. Um, so this record coaches is known as the Deutsche Bahn 
Umbau Wagon. Uh, so first up here, we have the AB3YG-1. So this is a first class coach. And we do have a pageant view in this one, although I think I don't think yeah, I think it's in this coach actually. Or no, maybe or is it this one? Yeah, okay. Um oh, does one have interior too? I don't know. Hang on, is, is the interior of these is Man, this is so confusing. I think the interior is actually only in that one. I don't know whatever anyway um well up next here we have the uh the b3yg-1 that's this guy which is a second class coach up next uh we have the bd3yg-1 which is this guy here not sure what kind of a coach this is supposed to be, but looks cool nonetheless. And finally, the Denst coach, or D I E N S T, Denst. I don't actually know you say the name of this coach, but here it is anyway. And these coaches are actually all standard gauge, so you could run these on your, well, whatever standard gauge railway you prefer. And yeah, doesn't think we have interior in that one. All right. And finally, we have this, which is a brake band of sorts. The DB PWG S14, the Pogs PWG PR14. This, yeah, I know it's a mouthful, but yeah, look at that. It's a little brake band. It's an old one as well. Yeah. And the other thing about this brake band is that on the uh, on the road that it runs on, which is the well, I say runs. On the road that it comes with the uh, PT uh, pigtail line, it doesn't. It's not actually used on um, on a train. It's actually just a uh, just a static thing that just you know, it, it's it's a detail. But if you want to, you can still use it as a as an actual part of your train uh, if you want to. Although I don't think there are any suitable wagons you could use it with. But uh, <coughs> oh well, you could probably come up with something. Well, that is everything that is all of the german content they get with the six german routes released thus far here in train simulator 3 now of course there is more german content um in this game there are some standalone locomotives um or emus including the ic4 which i've actually done a video on already and of course there's also another upcoming german road which may even already be out by the time this video is uploaded and i'll be taking a look at that one well at some point in the future but for now, there you go. That is all of the German content they get in each of the six routes. So, now that we've taken a look at some trains, let's drive a train. Alright, so the route that we're going to be driving on this video is the PT Eiffel route, which is a route that I have driven on before, um, although I did that in a, in a free drive session, whereas this time I'll be doing it actually in a scenario. And we're going to be driving the DB644 diesel multiple unit. Uh, first time driven this thing in a while. We actually we've actually driven this train before as well, but that was way back in early 2022 when I reviewed the uh, PT Alpha Lake 1 route. Well, now we're driving it on this one. Uh, but of course, look here are the rest of the scenarios they get with the PT Alpha. You get uh, ballast transport, I think that's what they meant to say. And you get two services with the uh, 644 in each direction. And you also get to do a service with the TE Rheingold train pulled by the uh, BR44 steam engine. Uh, we're, of course, though, we're driving the, uh, the 644, and we'll be We'll be uh, driving the RB83 Cologne service, uh, which is basically a stopping pass service between Bitburg and Gerolstein, which is actually the opposite direction that of which we drove on when we drove on this route the first time. So, let's do this. And here we are, and there's a lot of base boosting going on. I don't know why that is. All right, so drive the regional train to Cologne, a section between Bitburg and Gerolstein. All right. Oh, there's a lot of trains here. That might be why. There we go. All right, here's our train then. Just shine the lights. And as well as the get the track hub ready. Let's 
get full brights. And uh, I guess we're already clear to go. All right. And um, one thing that's actually interesting about this cons is that we're, it's, this is actually a um, a double set. We actually got two 644 diesel multiple units connected together to make up a six car cons, which I actually like. I just got that between the uh, a, a six car train. Um, same we drove a uh, three car version of this train way back in 2022. Also, you know what? I'm actually gonna drive with the uh, with the engine volume lowered because it's gets quite bass boost. It doesn't sound that good, so yeah, that sounds better. You know, I'll even turn the volume up just to just so you guys can actually hear this train better. Let's see, that should be good. All right. So here we are then, driving a German train. Yeah, a German train that was driven before. Um. So yeah, um, this is a video that I've actually had in the back of my mind for not too long, but um, I was actually inspired to do this video uh, back when I actually um, I was actually looking through my, uh, some of my past train similar three videos, and. Um, and the interesting part is, is that the uh, the final Train Smart 3 video they uploaded in 2022 was actually a video very similar to this one, uh, where I would take a look at all the German trains released thus far and then drive on the uh, PT route, which is actually a newly released route at the time, or at least uh, was it newly released or it might have been recently released. But anyway, yeah, um, yeah, I decided to. Um, oh yeah, I guess I should also look at the uh, the map view here for the. Uh, uh, PTI4 route, which is uh, actually a uh, linear route, which goes through a bunch of countryside, and there you go. Oh, uh, here's the big bridge. Okay, let's see if we need to go into the map view. It actually resets the noise. That's going to make a bit of an inconvenience, is it? Yeah, there's like a big, uh, uh, so high up that I can't even. Go, uh, yeah, it takes me to the map view, but yeah, it's like a big road bridge. It actually looks pretty cool. But yeah, I did a video in basically the same style as this one at the end of last year. Um, and yeah, and that inspired me to sort of come back and remake it as we now got loud noise again. Yeah, okay, the bomb in this is gonna be a bit inconsistent. I do apologize. Um, but yeah, after watching, you know, last year's video, and considering there have been more German content released uh, more recently, and because I've also switched to a, a format to where I have a better understanding of what content is included, what content isn't, I figured I would come back into this video again as well as show off some of the newer content and. You know, the guy does like exactly where you can get each of this content. Oh, come on, let's get to the end of the song. There we come. Alright, good. Um, but yeah, after watching last year's video, I was actually, yeah, I was inspired to sort of come back and remake this video, because I, uh, I actually came in with the, uh, with a format to sort of understand exactly what you get and don't get in certain routes, because, um, in some older reviews I made, um, I made some mistakes, and I showed a train as part of a route review, even though the train isn't even in the route, and I also did the opposite thing, and I also didn't show some trains that you, you know, would get with the route. Um, because beforehand, I actually went based off of what I saw in the, uh, in the free drive mode, you know, I, I was, 
looking in the free drive mode, I was like, oh, well, if it's in the free drive, that's included in the, in the route then. Um, but yeah, since I developed this new format, I figured I would come back and, uh, remake this video. Hey, we're about to wrap up our first up of the day, which is Kielberg, I think. Guys, there's a freight train there. Look at that. Well, surprisingly, the only two freight cars are to get here in the uh, in the Eiffel route. Yeah. Okay, well, on second thoughts, I'm gonna turn the game volume back down to negative 30 decibels. Because, um. Yeah, some volume has been inconsistent. I wanna be able to sort of talk and stuff and, you know, not be done by the lords of the train. As that bridge was departing. Yeah, nice. Um, yeah, also, one thing I, I also may as well mention, um, you may have noticed that, you know, been referring to lots of like PT. Um, everybody, what's PT? Uh, so PT stands for Pro Train, uh, who is the developer of all of these add-ons. Uh, they just like to put PT at the beginning of each of the routes. So I was, you know, so that's why I like to call these like PT up and like one, two, three, PT up or whatever. Um, yeah, also looks like I'm good to go now. All right, let's go. Um. Ah, come on. But yeah, um, also well, this train's a lot slower than I remember. Yeah, it's it's been a really long time since the last driven this train. But uh, yeah, here it is, the uh, D uh, Deutsche Bahn six four four. It is a multiple unit. Being shut off for the second time on this channel. Uh, and um, in case you're wondering. Uh, I have actually done reviews on all of the routes, or all of the contents of the routes that I've shown uh, in this video, so that being, well, all the routes that I mentioned. Um, in fact, this is actually the second time I actually do a video here on the uh, the Eiffel route. Um, yeah, the first time I looked at this route, though, was, like I mentioned, last year. Uh, but I have done videos on all the other routes, so, um, so you've seen the trains. Um, so, with that being said, if you're now curious to take a look at the routes, that all this trains comes with, well, you can do that right now. I've already done videos on all of them. And, um, I guess another thing worth mentioning is, well, what is what I'm up on this video. Um, yeah, so this video has been uploaded on New Year's Eve of 2023, um, as this is the last and final video for 2023. That's right. This this video you're watching right now, this is the last one that's going to be uploaded in 2023. Next video uh, will be uploaded in the new year of 2024. Um, and ironically, um, this version of the video that I actually made last year uh, was actually the last... Well, it wasn't the last video for 2022, but it was the last Train Spider 3 video for 2022. Of course, I uploaded a couple more videos in 2022 after that video, but, you know, this was that was the last Train... The last Train... Uh, three video. Um, this year though, this is the last video uh, for the year. Yeah, not just the last Train Simulator 3 video, but the last video in general until 2024. Um, yeah. Uh, but so I'm actually recording this video a little bit before New Year's Eve. I'm actually recording this on the uh, December 21st. Uh, because I have to, um, get some other things taken care of. Uh, so I'm actually in, like, a bit of a, bit of a pre-recording spree. Um, since we'll have some time later on to do some other stuff. Um. Yeah, but of course you won't be seeing this video until New Year's Eve, December 31st. Ah, there we go. <laughs> okay, you know what? That was probably coming. Yeah, I probably had that one coming because I was going over the speed limit, but... Oh, well. Oh, I think it was only a brief, um, version of application. 
This is good. As we're about to arrive in St. Tim Tom. But I guess I'll mention Pro Train again. Um, you know, Pro Train have kind of become like the main third party developer for these uh, Trains mobile add ons. Um, and the interesting thing about Pro Train is that they've also. They're also getting well. They've also gone into American routes, um, yeah. So the uh, so Pro Train, the makers of all this German content, they're actually the same guys who also made the uh, the Yellowstone, uh, the Yellowstone Mountain Essential Railroad route that I looked at um, earlier this year, which uh, which of course is going to be my highest viewed Train Simulator three video yet, and also my uh, most paid video as well. So yeah, that video broke a lot of records. Well, a lot of recent records. There's a brand new station, actually, uh, by the way. Is that just the right place? Yep, alright. Yeah, let's try to party where I just arrived. Cool. Um. But yeah, I believe Pro Train are actually based in Germany. Yeah, they, they're going to complain, like I said, off too early, even though there's no schedule. Um, I don't care. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Pro Train, I believe they're actually based in Germany, you know, hence why they've made so many of these German add-ons. Uh, I believe they were also the, uh, the makers of the, um, of the, what's it called, the ICE-4. Um, but yeah, they've also made a, they've also made some American stuff. Um, and they've also made some British stuff too, so... Um, so despite being, you know, German developers, they have made content not, you know, not, not a non-German content, so, yeah. Yeah, they also made some, uh, American look most which are actually really good quality. Um, I've actually driven some of Pro Train's American stuff in some, uh, some previous route reviews, and their stuff is good. So, yeah, Pro Train... Good quality developers here in the uh, trains mobile course. And let's get to the right. Something else I guess I'll also mention real quick. Um, you guys may be aware that there is a uh, the, there's actually a new British route um, that just came out, a, a British branch line, and even by the time this video. I may have posted there may there may also be some other um new add-ons that just released. Um uh, So I'm gonna have an official announcement about this in the uh, in the community post um tomorrow as of when I'm gonna upload this video. Um and that community post is gonna be explaining my plans for the month of January. Um So yeah, so with that in mind, any new route that comes out in the month of December will uh, will be reviewed in the month of January, uh, 2024. Um, and I was actually debating whether I should review a new add-on or if I should do, you know, well, yeah, if I should review a, a new add-on for New Year's Eve or, and, and if I should, uh, do this video, um, at a later point. Uh, but I thought more about it and I just figured, you know, I, yeah, I, I figured to myself though that, what I really wanted to do was sort of send off 2023 with this video here. Yeah, I really wanted this particular video to be the final video for 2023. Um, you know, because I, like I said, I, I wanted to end off 2023 the same way I ended off 2022. We'll take a look at all the German content and then driving on the uh, Eiffel route. And, hey, you know what? There's also possible I may do this video again next year. Next December. We'll see, though. Maybe I will, maybe I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, yeah. And I guess you uh, guys also may be wondering, uh, well, Froni, what are your thoughts on German railways in general? And, um, I think they're cool. I, I, I like Germany's railways. They're not the best in the world, and that's mainly down to, uh, well, the company that runs it all, Deutsche Bahn. Um, I've actually heard, uh, a lot of things about Deutsche Bahn uh, through my friend Andre, who uh, lives in Germany and is actually uh, is actually a driver in training for Deutsche Bahn as we speak right now. Um, yeah, did you know that one of our own here in this group is actually uh, is actually about to become a train driver in real life? Um, 
Yeah, so Andre is uh, currently uh, is currently actually in uh, driver training at Deutsche Bahn. Uh, he's actually, yeah, he's currently actually in the uh, three-year program where he's going to learn all about train drivings and other things. So, yeah. Um, and I'm sure we'll get many more stories about Deutsche Bahn once he begins his uh, working life on Deutsche Bahn. Um, oh, yeah, the doors, oh, well, the doors open for like 10 seconds. Huh. That's unfortunate. All right, I keep going. Um, yeah, but, um, you know, despite Deutsche Bahn, you know, I mean, well, I don't like the fact that Deutsche, well, yeah, the reason why Deutsche Bahn has a bit of a bad reputation is because their trains, quite often, they run late. Like, if, if you're riding on Deutsche Bahn, um, you better be lucky that your train is running on time, because most of the time it won't be. Yeah. Um... But as far as, you know, Germany's railways and trains, I do like them, though. Like, like I, I, okay, I guess I'm not necessarily a fan of the company that's running it all, but as far as the trains and railways themselves, I like it. It's, it's cool. It's, you know, it's very modern, up-to-date. It's, yeah, I like Germany's railways, and I hope to take them out for myself someday in real life. Um, yeah. Interestingly, the, um, my first time actually learning about German railways was actually through the ICE because of course I'm a big high speed rail guy um, and so the ICE was actually my first exposure to German railways and um, you know in due time I eventually learned about you know non high speed trains that went in Germany and of course I eventually started playing uh, you know train sims and things and I started to learn more about German railways you know I got the uh, Black Forest route back in Train Simulator 2 um, and then I, and I started playing some more German routes over in uh, Train Simulator Classic also known as Railworks and now here I am driving more German trains here in Train Simulator 3. So, yeah, I'm a fan of German railways, and I guess there's a lot of other people fans of German railways too, because, um, you know, the funny thing is, right, there's, there's a common thing with train simulators, you know, both trains and, you know, N3V games, train simulator, as well as Dovetail games, train simulator, classic, and train simulator world. The three countries that they always make, route for, make routes for is the United States, the UK, and Germany. And I'm guessing that's just because Germany, you know, has a big rail culture over there. You know, like, like despite the fact that Deutsche Bahn doesn't do the best of job with running their trains, and you know, there's still, I guess there's still a lot of people, you know, well, there's, yeah, there's still a lot of rail fans over in Germany, and a lot of people who like to see these trains and train sims. And so that's why there's such an overload of German content in, um, in these games. Which I personally don't mind, because, like I said, I'm a fan of German, uh, of German trains. Although, it does get quite tiring seeing routes in the same country over and over again. I wish that these developers would sort of diversify, you know, their, their range a little bit. And, you know, not make content that's, you know, that, you know not always make content in the same three countries. And we're actually going to go in So we're at Densborn and... Okay, we still... Okay, well, okay. <laughs> we actually still have a ways to go, but yeah, we're getting there. Oops, I don't want to go into real estate mode. No, thank you. Um, And I really enjoy driving German trains in these sims. You know, I play a lot of trains from Classic. Trains, well, I used to play trains from Classic. Not so much anymore, but I used to, you know, play a good, good amount of German stuff over in trains from Classic as well as trains from World. Um, yeah. And actually, as we speak, there's a uh, German route in development for SimRail. Uh, which goes from Dresden to some Polish town. Um, yeah, it's actually in, uh, yeah, so this is actually a general that's actually based over in Lower Saxony. Um, so it's actually in pretty, you know, it's pretty far in the southeast of Germany. Um, although I think that row itself, you know, it's a bit, it's not the best concept, though. It's actually a lot like this row, where it's sort of like a countryside row, you know, so traffic is probably going to be minimal. I wish they would have made a German route that's, you know, set in a more urban area like Frankfurt or even Munich or something or whatever, but, yeah, there's a freight train, look at that. Yeah, it's the, uh, Naga Hopper cars, which I, uh, yeah. You know, it's funny how in Train Simulator 3 we actually have, um, you know, all these 
of the birds of the Naga Hopper car, and yet they only actually include one bird in the Eiffel Tower. One thing that's actually interesting um, about the about the three PT Alpine Lake routes, as well as the uh, as well as about the PT Eiffel route, is that you actually get a lot of the same content in all three routes. Like, if you want if you want to get this train here, the BR six four four, you can get any of the PT Alpine Lake routes, as well as the uh, as well as the Eiffel route. Uh, same for the BR two eighteen. That's including all those routes. But then as for the freight wagons, it's a bit more complicated. Like you get some, like you get more wagons in certain routes, whereas less wagons in certain. It's it's weird. Yeah. So, I guess as far as which of the three routes I would, or which of the four routes I would pick out of the three, out of the four routes that come with all this common content. I mean. Mm, I'm thinking closer to the, uh, to the... Oh, there we go again. <laughs> I'm thinking closer to the, uh, PT Alpine Lake... Uh, the, uh, PT Alpine Lake 3 route, because you also get the, um... The, uh, auxiliary train, which gives you a bunch of stuff. And you also get a decent amount of freight cons on that one, too. So it's the 218s and the 644. But that being said, though, I don't think you can go wrong with, the, the, with any of the other ones, though. Like, you know, the PT Alpine Lake 1 and 2, you get some, you know, extra steam trains, and PT Alpine Lake... Or no, the uh, PTF route. You also get the TEE -E -E Rheingold train, uh, which is actually really cool. I like that train. So, yeah, I I think the decision is gonna have to be up to you guys, which of these routes that you're gonna get. Now, of course, there's also the two other exclusive routes. There's the uh, the uh, Brocken Railway, as well as the um, as well as the um, uh, the the, uh, the the Pigtail Line. Um, now those routes only come with like that particular content as I showed earlier and that content is available in any other routes, you know, the steam engines and the coaches, that's just exclusive to those, both of those routes. So if you want to get those trains, you have to get those routes and those particular routes and there's no way around it. But then with the other four train routes, it's a bit more broad. Um, now like I said, I have done reviews on all of them, so I'll be tab like one, two, as well as the, uh, as well as, well, yeah, PTF like 1, 2, and 3. I've done reviews on all those routes, and of course, here you are driving on the Apple route. There's nothing to go there. That's pretty cool. Um, so, if you're thinking about buying any of these routes, and you're not sure which one to get, uh, I recommend just watching my reviews, and then you'll get a better picture. And by the way, um, I have actually written down, like, the list of content they get in each of the add-ons. Um, so if you want, I can just, you know, if you want me to write a comment with all of them, I can just paste it in there. Uh, I'm at, yeah, I actually wrote up that list for this video so I can remember everything, because, <laughs> with, I mean, without with how much different content that there is and how many different ads there are, yeah, there's no way I'm going to remember it off the top of my head, which is why I wrote it down. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Although, in my case, though, I bought all six of the routes, so, uh, yeah. But, and, you know, if I think that you should buy all the routes, I mean, if you really want to, yeah, you can't really go wrong with any of them. But if you're only looking to buy one particular or two particular routes, um, and you're not sure which ones to get, again, watch my reviews. Actually, although in this video that I've done, I basically did a pretty good sum up, though, on all of the uh, individual contents that you get, so... Really, at this point, the extra route reviews are now, well, if you want to check out the route itself, um... But, yeah. I actually really like this train, though. 644. Diesel multiple unit. I actually don't have that many diesel multiple units in this game, by the way. The only one I can, the only other one I can think of is that British one that came with the uh, Rolls with Vale UK route. Um, otherwise, I can barely think of any other DMUs in this game. And actually, the funny thing about that British one is that it's technically, well, it is a diesel multiple unit, but it can also be an electric multiple unit. So it's like a, it's basically an electro diesel of sorts.
And yeah, I also yeah, I also decided I would drive this 644, you know, just because I haven't done so in a long time. And this is actually one of the weird times I've actually driven a train for the second time on this channel. Like, like typically, whenever I'm doing a route review, I always pick like the new train or the train that's like exclusive to that route or it's just generally a train that I've never driven before. I typically don't drive the same train like in two different videos. Um, all the same exact train. Technically, I have actually driven the uh, the Pro Train SC40-2 in two different videos, being the uh, the Eastern Range as well as the Conrad Lincoln Second routes. Oh, even then, that's a different livery of the SC40-2, so it's still you know bang. Whereas here, I've yeah, I've now driven the exact same variant of the 644 twice because there's only one version of 644 in this game. You know this this Regio Deutsche Bahn Traffic Red livery. This is the only variant of the 644 that exists here in Train Simulator 3. And you can get it in four different routes. Which I think is actually going to overload. Um, yeah. I guess I wouldn't be surprised though to know if, you know, if some of you guys might be a little bit skeptical or just against the idea of the fact that they're basically rehashing content, you know, for each of these routes, which, yeah, I'm not much of a fan of that. Um... Like, I mean, both this, the uh, 644, as well as the Eno's Wagon to that 218. Each of these things are all available in four routes. Which, yeah. Which, yeah, I definitely would have preferred it if they would have just included each of these in one route and then have different German content for different routes, but, nah. Yeah. So only we get to the Brocken Railway and the Pigtail Line where you have to get content that's exclusive to each route. And, even then, there is some content that is exclusive to these routes, you know, such as the, uh, those blue German coaches with the T.E. Rheingold and things, um, and as well as the steam engines, but otherwise, for the most part, you know, it's mostly the same. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, and you know what? I wish we had Surveyor, because I, well, I mean, I personally wouldn't make my own German route by you, and I would have, would at least like to see what other people could come up with. Because German railways are cool. Well, they'd be a lot cooler if Deutsche Bahn wasn't running them, but, or if this is much did a better job running but even, so they're, well, German railways and trains in general are so cool, my folks. Alrighty, well, how far are we away then to uh, Gerald Stein? Um, oh, we're, oh, that's actually our last stop. Okay, well, we're almost done. Good, because I'm starting to run out of stuff to talk about. Well, this is it then. The final video for 2023. Um, I guess talk about that then for a little bit, because um, 2023 was quite the year for this channel, I gotta say. But, yeah, with that being said, 2023 was definitely a good year for the channel. Dare I say it, 2023 was one of the best years ever for the Front of the channel, you know. So many videos, so many, so many of which that you guys actually watched, you know. I will say that the first year of the Generation 4 era has been a pretty good one. Really, my only complaint, though, is that I wish that, it, you know, I wish it could have, it wish it could have been more successful. Because it turns out that this YouTube ever everything doesn't pay as well as I initially hoped for. So, hopefully, that number will go up in 2024. Um, but yeah, uh, otherwise though, 2023 was a very good year for the 413 channel. And, um, well, hopefully 2024 will be another good one. I just got some big plans for 2024, which, as I mentioned in previous videos, um, I have a, uh, a bit of an update video planned, uh, for the end of January, which will explain, um, uh, everything that I planned for 2024. 
Um, and before that, I will also have a community post coming out tomorrow, uh, which will describe my plans for January of 2024. But as for 2023, this is it. This is the final video of the year. But yeah, don't worry though, there'll be plenty more Train Smith 3 content in the new year. So, yeah. Well, we're approaching Gerolstein, which is the last stop for this scenario, and the final stop for 2023. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Well, for me, as of when I'm recording this video, it's actually December 21st, so... This is actually the last video I'm recording in 2023, although I still have a couple of live streams to do as of when I'm recording this video. Although, by the time this video will be uploaded, those live streams will have already been done. So, yeah. My 2023 isn't just over yet, but it will be, though, once, uh, once this video is published. So, yeah. 2023 was a pretty good year. Really, my only complaint about 2023 is that I wish it was just more successful. So, hopefully we'll achieve more of that success next year. Oh, there's a portal. Oh, my bad, the screen just went dark. Yeah. You know something, that actually hasn't happened in a while. Hmm. Interesting. You know something? Wow, right at the end of the year, hey, I'm making this discovery. Um, in previous times, I've actually recorded these trains in my three videos. The, uh, the, my iPad screen actually goes dark. Which, you guys actually never see this because, I guess, my uh, recording software doesn't pick it up. But, for me, the screen gets darker. I'm guessing that's because my iPad is getting so hot. Oh, yeah, it's actually really hot right now. <laughs> I just felt it. Uh, that's just because this game just uses up a lot of processing power. As well as the graphics card, so. Yeah. So I tell you what, if you want to play Train Spirit 3, make sure you got a device that can handle it, because this game is very demanding. But surprisingly, it hasn't actually been happening too much recently. So I guess maybe they're starting to optimize this game a bit more, so it doesn't use so much processing power, but yeah. Uh. Well, here we are then at Gerald Stein. Last stop of the scenario, last stop of the year. And hey, 5 out of 5 stars, even despite my uh, little speeding shenanigans. Alright. Oh, can we look at the doors opening? Oh, okay, they open for like 10 seconds. Alright. Oh, we'll complete the session, and that's it. Alright, well, there we go then. 5 out of 5 stars. A perfect run. Alright then, well that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in 2024.